Welcome back, friends and family. Today, Hot Rod Magazine, April 1970. On the cover, the man, the legend, Mickey Thompson and his monocoque Mustang Mark 1 funny car. And if you ask me, one of Ford's coolest engine, especially during that time. It's an FE with hemispherical heads and very, very popular during that uh, period in drag racing. And also, it's really cool to see because everybody knows the normal funny cars. During that time, they tried a lot. You have one that would flip forward. We all know that Johnny Lightning too, I, I think, or like little Hot Wheels. Some of them would flip forward. Some of them, like a normal funny car nowadays, the whole thing lifts off. But this is really cool because it's like a monocoque. So it has a crazy frame underneath all that. And yeah, this engine really cool. The other that I really liked, like during this time, was that crazy indie double overhead cam engine that was also, I think, a reverse flow thing. And you would see that rarely, you would see that, I think, in a road racing car. And someone put it in what l later was winning the Oakland Roadster Show. But uh, this thing is pretty cool. If I would have some car out of that time, especially a Ford, I would try to track one of those downs. And I know that's really hard. But let's get this started. Uh, by the way, guys, thank you for watching this and thank you for all your views on my other videos. It, it really, you know, like, it really makes me happy because, like, cars always were my passion. And to share this stuff with you, it's just cool, you know. Just leave me a comment and just let me know. I'm not really the biggest muscle car guy and I don't really know that much. Like, I really always have a hard time with late 60s and 70s hot rod magazines and car craft because kind of weird but like if you like those videos let me know and I try to do my best so this is what's going on in this issue there you have a very nice Krager wheel and as always those 70s had the coolest ads and just check this this stretched nose front engine buck really cool those wheels. Wow, look at this. Almost like the, the, the mod top on Mopars. Cool. Okay, and also, I, I know that like, you don't wanna hear all my stories. So I try to make my videos a little bit shorter, okay? So I hope I succeed with that because in the end, I always talk a lot and I'm sorry. Okay, those shoes are cool though. You have to say that those shoes are cool. And that Mopar station wagon, hell yeah. Never heard of that, those fuel pumps. always cool to see weird cars like Opals. I know it says Buick but it's an Opal Olympia and I always thought those things are cool as a gather like pro stock car whatever. And there we have Mickey Thompson's car and this is cool. Well, wow, it has suspension in the back. Most of those funny cars back then, I thought they don't have like any suspension back there. But this thing is pretty cool. Reminds me of that AMT kit that, uh, you know, that looks almost like a boat upside down. I think the a AMT Piranha or something like that. And that car also really existed. It looks cool. Uh, talking about Mickey Thompson, I don't know if you guys ever heard this story and if it's true or not, so please don't hate on me. So I've heard that Mickey Thompson had a daughter. I mean, we all know that he had a daughter. But she was hanging out, like kind of at the time, 
with the wrong crowd, like a rough crowd or whatever. So I, I don't really know if those guys were Hell's Angels or Galloping Goose. I don't really, I'm not really sure where it happened. I just kind of know it was kind of like San Bernardino County, Riverside, Corona, some of those, you know, like, um, if you kind of go to the desert, I think. And so she and her best friend were hanging out and, and, and partying with those rocker guys, those motorcycle uh, guys there. And Mick, those guys, no, not those guys. And Mickey Thompson was not really happy. So he was looking for them or only his daughter, I don't know. Really cool, that should be a poster. This should be a poster. I mean, everything in those 70s magazines should be a poster. So that guy they were hanging out with at some point said, you know what, like you, you, you should, you know, like move on, go home or whatever. You can't stay around all the time. Also really cool cougar. So what happened at that time they left the bad guy's house. Mickey Thompson found out where that guy lives and was driving over there and he had a gun. So he knocks at the door, the guy opens and he pulls the gun on him and says, where's my daughter? And the guy says, dude, I don't know, she just left. Really cool. I don't know if that is a Corvette or if it's an Opel GT. Today we have a lot of Opel GT. Uh, like Opal Talk, I guess. So Mickey is all like, you know, like, uh, kind of not so, not so happy about that, that whole situation. And the guy just said, dude, I don't know. I think she left with someone down the street. So Mickey Thompson goes down the street up and down and he finds two guys. I don't know if they were Mexican or not or whatever, but I thought like one of them was Hispanic and he pulls the gun on him and I I'm not really sure what he did if he was uh, shooting at that guy or if he just used the gun and like knocked one guy there were two guys in the car and he knocked one down or whatever but um, it was bad and then of course the sheriff or the police or whoever um, rolled up on him and arrested him. They later found out, of course, it's like famous Mickey at, at the time, fastest man on earth. And so the judge, I think, dropped everything on him. Said so like, okay, you're, f you're free to go. You're like a hero, whatever, just go. You know, those times were different than nowadays. And I hope I don't want to be political or anything, but like, I don't know if it's really a true story or not, but like to hear that, I I can picture that, you know, during those times, if you're someone, you probably, yeah, I don't know. But anyhow, if you know more about this, let me know. Okay, just drop a comment or if you know the, the real story, maybe share it with me and I try to make maybe a video about it or whatever. So what's really cool about this thing is the front end, I think, and even it looks funky and it looks like too short. I think like in the 50s, we talked about that too. I think in 1953 or, or whatever, most of the indie cars were built by Curtis Craft or Curtis or whatever. I don't know. And you could like buy all the blueprints to build your own. And... I don't know if this is Volkswagen or not, but I think this is really a really good suspension if you want to go road racing. Um, I don't really know if it looks cool or not, but like it's a little bit different. So I just like it. I wish he would have five spokes in the front and steelies, steelies in the back, but who am I? Wow, Cal Custom Scoop. Those still once in a while show up on 
on the good old Ebays. And I don't know, they're getting more and more expensive. Snowtown hauler. And it's blown with a little 471 or whatever. That thing looks cool. Looks so 70s. I will take this one. Hell yeah, two stroke. Looks awesome. Looks almost like that motorcycle that chick from Vanishing Point is riding, but I don't know. So is that a Talladega or not? I know that the Talladega, the rocker panels are uh, I, I don't find words tonight, <laughs> sorry, but I think this is a no normal Torino, also a really cool car. I think this is falling apart. I'll probably throw it away and look for another one. This also looks very nice. Nice color combination, nice little small block. There you have your, your Challenger, uh, talking about vanishing point. Wow, the Super Shaker. Is this after the Wilshire Shaker? Wow, blown big block. Fuel injected. I like the wheel wells. Looks cool. 7.21 second car. That's fast. That looks cool. Okay, dirt every day, but this is really cool looking. Especially since it still has a top on. That looks cool. Judy scooter, cross ramped. Cool. That almost looks like Art Himsel painted that. Isn't there a car that looks like that, that Art Himsel painted that, or is that that car? Looks cool. So it's a shortened Phaeton. That looks cool. Oh yeah, it says Art Himsel, cool. So what, what I always had a problem with, especially with like, trends you know in the 70s everybody was building a tea bucket so it's nice to stick out you know with like a phaeton that shortened you still have that look but it it does look different and it does look way cooler than one of those many yeah uh, tea buckets cool advertising just cool colors Okay, I, I don't know if you want a Volkswagen Posi down under racing. Cool, cool, look at this thing. Wow. Street Sixers. This looks like a Ford, this definitely is a GM product. Cool. Wow, a little Maverick. Wow, a little Maverick big engine. Cool. Wow, nice little Corvette. See, this is how it should be. Five spokes in the front and steel 
wheels on the back. I love that shock. Or is that a shock? Yeah, that is a shock. Cool. Nice advertising, sorry. Wow. Now, is that an Oldsmobile engine? No. Almost looks like an old engine, but the heads are totally different. So probably Pontiac. Uh oh, that's a small block. Wow, sorry, sorry guys. Usually, I I can spot the small blocks that I don't like, and the Pontiac and old that I like. But the front cover kind of threw me off there for a minute. Of course, now that I know it's a small block, it looks like a small block. But uh, before. Same as show gas shocks. So many Volkswagen parts back then. That distributor looks cool. Wow. Okay, let's get through this. We are almost there. Oh my god. BTs, what a dream. What a dream. Just think about how expensive those are now. And most of the cool sizes you don't even get. Nice. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. If you like my videos, hit the like and subscribe and see you in the next one hopefully. The Roger, the Ruger, the Luger. Yeah, go fishing. That little Allstate or Henry J or whatever that is, Henry J with a Cadillac engine, 428 cubic inches. Hell yeah. I would buy that. Nice little uh, carry all. And a Chevelin. Cool. 3800 cash. Nice Nomad, another Nomad, man, oh yeah, so I ripped the cover now totally, okay, uh, guys, thank you for sticking around, and see you in the next one, have a nice day, bye.